This awfully written fan fiction of a movie was the equivalent of getting all the answers wrong on a test. Madam Web. I don't even know why I watched this movie. I haven't heard anything good come out of it other than this one article I read that was like, oh yeah, it was bad, but it was like fun bad. It made me fall asleep during the first half. And then the second half taught me that when you hit rock bottom, you can still keep going deeper. I was waiting for it to get better and then it never did. When I first saw the trailer for this movie, I was like, hey, it's that girl from Fifty Shades. Dakota Johnson. I I think I only know her from Fifty Shades, so I'm just like, wow, it's the Fifty Shades lady. I guess she did a pretty good job playing Madam Web. The longer I watched the movie, the more I started to forget that she was the girl from Fifty Shades, and now she's just Madam Web. It's like a fan fiction in that people only care about it because of this other famous superhero that this movie couldn't even mention. Everything that happens, there's no logical reasoning behind it. Let's start with the villain. After seeing this villain, I want to apologize to the previous villains that I've kind of trashed a little bit. I'm sorry to Darbin from the Marvels and Black Manta from Aquaman. Compared to this villain, y'all are doing great. This villain is the most incompetent villain I've ever seen. His name's just Ezekiel. I don't know what his villain name is. Maybe it's just Ezekiel. He was basically part of the team that Madam Webb's mom was on. They went to South America to look for this super spider. And he was kind of pretending to be a good guy and then he just betrays her in the end and steals the spider. We don't know why he even wants the spider other than to get superpowers, but I'm like, what was he even gonna do with the superpower? He was an evil Spider-Man, wasn't he? We get this really long time skip where now we have Cassandra as a paramedic. It's been a couple years, she's old now. She really has no connection to this villain until this villain one day, he has a dream about these three spider women sneaking up on him while he sleeps and and killing him. Now he has this mission of going out and killing these three girls before his dream becomes a reality. <laughs> We don't even know what he was doing in the past, whatever, 20, 30 years. He looks like he's pretty rich because he lives in a penthouse in New York City, which has always been a personal dream of mine. The actor who plays this villain is French. All of his scenes are apparently dubbed. Honestly, anyone could have played this villain. There was nothing special about this villain that even needed an actor to play. That goes to show how irrelevant this villain is, other than to bring Cassandra and these three girls together. So I'll get to the three girls later, but I want to say. The villain was so incompetent. Even with his superpowers, he couldn't even take down three civilian teenagers. He had all of these powers that he was using to climb up walls, take people out, and there are scenes where he just takes everyone out around them, and then when he's about to approach them, he kind of slows down, and he's like, haha, I got you, and then they just run away because he slowed down. This is like those scenes in action movies where the bullets are flying everywhere, but the hero never gets hit. This is like 10 times worse than that. Those three girls, they weren't even spider women. They don't actually get powers, except in a couple of flash forward visions Madam Web has. The three girls are just diverse representations of the same person. Anya, whose father got deported because they're illegal immigrants. Julia, whose parents are divorced and her mother's in a psych ward. And then there's Maddie. Her parents are like politicians. They're on a trip to China, which is probably the Asian representation. I'm like, I, there were no Asians in this. Maddie's parents are in China, so that's the Asian representation. We got that. They're all on their own because their families don't really care about them. And in a very fanfic-like way, Madam Web comes into their lives. They end up running away from this villain, surviving that, and then becoming one big happy family. But Madam Web herself, she has a near-death experience, and after that, her powers start showing up. And in the beginning, it's really weird. She doesn't know what's going Going on. She sees events happening and then it like goes back to before the event happened and she's like for some reason I'm able to see the future. Trying to figure out her powers while saving these three girls because she saw the vision of Ezekiel coming after them so now she's trying to save them but also at the same time trying to figure out what's going on and then she has this box full of old relics left behind by her mother talking about this 
spider in South America, Peru. So she goes to South America and she tries to look for answers there. I don't know what she was looking for. Was she looking for the spider? Did she know about this indigenous tribe? The indigenous tribe, <laughs> they expected her return. They probably had visions of her coming back in the future because there's a scene in the very beginning of this movie when Cassandra's born. The leader of this tribe actually says to the audience, like directly to the screen, yeah, one day you're gonna come back looking for answers. So she did. <laughs> <laughs> she did go back looking for answers and he just has all the answers. She harbored some bitterness about her mother abandoning. I don't know why she would harbor bitterness. Oh, she harbored bitterness because she's like, why would my mom go to the South America? Why would she travel when she was pregnant going to this dangerous area and then died in childbirth? But really, she's able to see that her mother actually went to find this spider because this spider's venom was supposed to cure her genetic disorder that she never even knew she had because the spider's venom cured her genetic disorder. She's more powerful than ever now that she knows the truth. She has this web, this mind web, this time web. I don't even know what exactly her powers are because she can like see the future, but she can also be in multiple places. The villain is still after them at this point. Before she went to South America, she sent them to Uncle Ben. Perfectly safe at Uncle Ben's house, but the moment the lady's water breaks, all three of the girls have to accompany Uncle Ben and the lady to the hospital, which made no sense other than to move the plot forward. You know, if they didn't do that, Ezekiel wouldn't have found them. And then there's this ultimate showdown that happens at a fireworks warehouse. Explosion everywhere on the screen. At the end of the day, Pepsi sign comes in and takes out the villain. Madam Well, she falls into the water. All the explosions, all the buildings are falling apart. And then the three girls save her because in a previous scene, Madam Webb, being a paramedic, taught them how to do CPR. They revive her. Her. She's kind of disabled now. She's lost her vision and I guess she can't move either because she's on a wheelchair at the end. She's blind but she can see more than she has ever been able to see and she has accepted her motherly role to these three teenage girls. So now every time I think of Dakota Johnson, I'm probably gonna think of Madame Webb instead of Fifty Shades. This movie is really leaning on the spectrum of, you know, awful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you have seen this movie. If you haven't seen this movie, I do not recommend you see this movie. I'm regretting spending money going to the theater for this movie. I watched this movie in an empty theater. Is this what people were saying about Morbius? The same people who created Morbius also created this film. I guess we were expecting it to be bad, but then if you were, why would you make this movie? If there was anything you liked about it, or if you loved it, Ah, like that one lady in that article. Oh, I love this movie. I'm like, oh, that's good. That's good.